This is the Mitsubishi Mirage with halogen lights. This is the Volvo V60 with HID Xenons. And here we have the BMW iX supercar with full LEDs. And now the leader in headlight technology in Australia, the Audi R8 LMX with laser lights. We're doing about 80 kilometers an hour here in a very dark and foggy country road. And I gotta tell you, I really can't see much, even with the high beams on. And that's quite surprising considering these halogens were the pinnacle of headlight technology not too long ago. It's pretty obvious though that they're well and truly past their use by date. Now the next generation is HID Xenons, so let's see how they go. These HID Xenon lights are of course the standard for most luxury and plenty of mainstream cars. Now they are substantially better than halogen lights, however in this sort of condition I really was expecting a lot more. Back in 2008, Audi introduced the first car with full LED lights with the Audi R8. Now, companies like BMW have adopted that with a car like the i8. Sitting here in the BMW i8, the most noticeable difference is just how white these LED lights are compared to the Xenons in the Volvo. However, the distance that the light is traveling doesn't really seem to be all that different, which is quite surprising considering the cost difference between LED and Xenon technology. Of course, if all of that doesn't do it for you, then laser lights is the only option. Even just saying the words laser headlights reminds me of an old James Bond movie. However, it's real and it's here today in the R8 LMX. Of course, the lasers work with LEDs to really extend the field of view. I'm driving here at 1 a.m. in the morning and the amount of light being shown onto the road ahead of me is unbelievable. I can truly see a lot better sitting here than I could in any of the other three cars we have here. The laser beam is used only as a supplement to existing LED headlights, activating only when high beam is on at speeds above 60 kilometers an hour. The aim is to double the range of light compared to LED high beam to an amazing 500 meters. Four laser diodes, each with a diameter of 300 micrometers or just 0.3 millimeters are used inside the headlights. In their purity, the laser light is blue in color and actually harmful to the human eye. However, it goes through a phosphor plate converter that is no larger than a pinhead, which changes it into a pleasant white light you see here. Interestingly, current laser lighting generates much more heat than equivalent LED systems. So, a fan with a complete cooling system has been integrated into the R8's headlight assembly to ensure optimum running temperatures are maintained. For the moment, the only car that gets laser headlights in Australia is this R8. Now, this particular car cost a staggering $470,000. That's a lot of money for a few lasers. However, the point is, this technology is gonna filter down the range from BMW and Audi. So, your regular three series or Audi A4 will be the envy of Bond villains everywhere. <laughs>